Hello everyone, welcome to this session on AI guidance for students at the University of Hertfordshire. Now, I know AI sounds super futuristic, like robots taking over, but relax, this is not a sci-fi movie. AI is already part of our daily lives and this video will help you understand how to use it properly in your studies. Let's get started. Alright, so what exactly is AI? Simply put, it's tech that thinks, or at least tries to. You've probably used AI already without even realizing it. Grammarly checking your emails? AI. Netflix recommending that crime documentary you definitely weren't planning to binge? AI. Microsoft Copilot helping you format your assignments at 3 a.m.? Also AI. There's also generative AI like ChatGPT and Google Bard, which create content based on what you ask them. Sounds cool, right? But here's the catch. AI isn't perfect. It sometimes makes stuff up or gets things wrong. Ever had autocorrect turn your text into complete nonsense? Yeah, imagine that. But on an academic paper. That's why we need to be smart about how we use it. AI in assessments. Now, this is where things get serious. You can't just use AI whenever and however you want in assessments. The university has three categories for AI use. Think of them like traffic lights. Permitted, green light. AI is allowed for content creation and proofreading but you must declare it. For example, you use ChatGPT to help you come up with ideas for an essay. Great, but don't forget to mention it in your references. Limited, amber light. AI is only allowed for proofreading, fixing grammar, spelling, structure, but not for generating content. For example, you use Microsoft Copilot to check your writing for clarity. You don't let it rewrite paragraphs for you. Prohibit it, red light. AI is not allowed at all, especially in language assessments. For example, if you use ChatGPT to write an essay in an English proficiency test, that's a big nope. That's your own language skills being tested, not AIs. And here's the most important thing. If you don't declare AI use, even when it's allowed, it's academic misconduct. Yep, serious stuff. Always check your assessment brief first. Now, let's talk about your responsibilities. AI isn't a get out of work free card. It's a tool and like any tool, you need to use it properly. Here are three golden rules. Be honest. Always disclose AI use. For example, if you used ChatGPT to brainstorm for a marketing essay, add a short note in your references. ChatGPT was used for idea generation. Easy, right? Fact check outputs. AI sometimes lies. Yes, lies. ChatGPT might say, Shakespeare wrote 50 plays. Sounds legit, but a quick Google search tells you it's actually 39. Always double check your facts. Understand ethical implications. No personal or sensitive data in AI tools. For example, if you're writing a report about a real company, don't paste confidential details into Copilot. AI platforms don't guarantee privacy. Let's talk about how to use AI tools responsibly. Okay, so when can you use AI? And when should you avoid it like a dodgy kebab at 2 a.m.? You can use Copilot to summarize lecture notes, but make sure you check accuracy. ChatGPT for brainstorming essay ideas, not writing them. Grammarly or Copilot to proofread grammar and spelling. Some bad uses of AI. Letting AI write full coursework or exam answers. Using AI to generate fake references. Seriously, it makes them up. Entering personal or confidential data into AI tools. If you are unsure whether AI is allowed, just ask your lecturer. It's better than getting caught for misconduct. Ethical and transparent use. Transparency is key. A few things to remember. Always disclose AI use. AI helped structure this presentation. AI should assist you, not replace you. Copilot is not your co-author. AI generated content isn't always right. Check before using it. Think of AI like SatNav. It can guide you, but if it tells you to drive into a lake, 
you're still responsible for steering in the right direction. Privacy and data security. AI loves data. But do you really want it to know everything? Protect your privacy. Never enter sensitive info into AI tools. Names, addresses, confidential details. For example, using Copilot for CV writing? Yes. But don't include your phone number. Writing a research project? Yes. But don't enter real case study data. If you suspect a data breach, contact data protection at hearts.ac.uk. Basically, don't overshare with AI. It's a tool, not your therapist. All right, let's wrap this up. Here is what you need to remember. AI is a great tool, but use it wisely. Always check the rules before using AI in assessments. Be honest, fact check, and protect your data. Use Copilot, ChatGPT, and Grammarly responsibly. Still unsure? Ask your lecturer. AI won't replace your brain, at least not yet. So use it smartly and ethically. Thanks for watching this video and good luck with your studies.